everyone, I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name is Seppi, and in today's video, I'm bringing you along for my weekend off vlog. Um, so I've got some time off, it is the bank holiday, and I basically thought I'd start by showing you guys what I'm having for breakfast today. I'm doing some shooting, which is why my makeup is so OTT, but I followed a makeup tutorial by someone on YouTube called Hindash, and I really, really, really like how it came out. It was like the summery look. And for breakfast, I'm having toast with avocado. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. I'm having toast with avocado and uh, egg and a latte. I'm joined by my lovely mom. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we're gonna have some breakfast and then we're gonna go shoot some content for the gram. My bun is like slanted. But um, yeah, I'm gonna have this breakfast and then I'll catch up with you. Your makeup is really beautiful. Thank you, I was saying I followed a makeup tutorial from a guy on YouTube called Hindash. Wow. He's really Arab and he lives in Dubai and he is incredible. It's really nice. Thank you. It looks a bit harsh when I hold the camera close but in this lighting it looks a bit better and in photos, it's really good for photos guys and like parties and like summery time but the weather in England is so rubbish guys, it's far from summer. So guys, I've just arrived for my laser hair removal appointment. I'm actually really excited to vlog this for you guys because I've shown it on my Instagram before and you guys had a lot of questions about whether it's painful, how much it costs, etc. So I'm gonna go inside and introduce you guys to the lovely ladies who do my laser and we will answer like the FAQs that I got last time that I got laser that I shared on Instagram. So yeah, I'm really excited. It's completely pain free, so it's like chillaxing vibes which I'm looking forward to. So guys, I'm now literally laid down relaxing. Like I told you, getting laser is actually a relaxing experience because a lot of you guys asked me last time if it's painful and it is absolutely not painful. The only parts of my body that we put numbing cream are my underarms and bikini area and that is in order to ensure that it is definitely pain free because that's like more your more sensitive areas but last time i honestly did not feel like a thing like i was just having tea chilling like chatting so today i want to introduce you to someone in the tea you know this is monica hi monica <laughs> so monica and hannah do my laser with me here at bliss and we're going to answer well i'm going to ask monica some of the questions that people asked me last time and we are gonna like talk through uh, the answers to them basically. Is that okay, Monica? <laughs> okay, so um, the first thing that everyone asked last time is what machine do you use and like how, how is it painful or is it not painful? Okay, so uh, we use the Infinity Diode laser. So it's actually one of the latest uh, laser technologies that are out there at the moment. Um, actually, for that reason, because it's a diode laser, it's very refined and it just focuses on the actual hair. That's what draws the heat in, the hair, the colour of the hair follicles, and that laser will just zoom in onto those. So it's very safe, pain free, it doesn't damage any of the surrounding tissues, the yeah. arteries. I didn't see like any sort of yeah. damage to my skin after the first time and it was completely pain free. And this is the machine as well, just in case you guys want to see. Uh, the next question that I got is how long does it take to do like the whole body for laser? Okay, so the whole body probably about an hour and a half. Uh, there's obviously some set up time, some um, obviously we're getting prepared and a bit of aftercare, but after about an hour and a half to two hours maximum. And how many sessions in total to be like hair free? Right, so we recommend at least six and then we sort of assess to see how it goes and to see how the hair is responding to the treatment. Um, yeah, but possibly between six and eight. Okay, one last question. Uh, how much does it cost to get laser? Okay, so small areas start from about £40 per session. Um, if you want the whole body, um, including pretty much everything, that's £400. Okay, so you can find their prices on www.theblissgroup.co.uk, that'll be across the screen, or you can just DM them, um, I'll write their at across the screen as well, Bliss Laser Clinic, and they will answer all of your questions on there, but we are just gonna go ahead and start the laser. So guys, 45 minutes later and I am done. My full body is lasered at, it might have even been less than 45 minutes because 
what you guys didn't see at the start of this clip was I actually locked myself out of my car and Hannah helped me climb through my boot to get my keys again. Um, so that took up some time. But yeah, literally 45 minutes later and my whole body is done. I am lasered and my next session will be in four weeks. And as Monica said, it takes about six to eight sessions to be completely hair free. I absolutely love my experience here. Honestly, 10 out of 10 recommend it and definitely. So guys, I'm in Zara in Knightsbridge. I just had lunch with my friend Lynn, who wants to say hi without a mask, but we'll just show you her. <laughs> she's carrying my shopping too. As you can tell, she's already fed up on me. <laughs> Min and I went to uni together, so. So Min will have cut off in the last scene because she wanted to show you her stuff now. <laughs> I'm joking. We're gonna take our masks off so you can oh. have a proper introduction. Today in shopping, Min's been like my mum. Everything I pick up, she's like, but do you need this? I've seen you with this before. <laughs> or like, if I'm on the escalator, she's like, you're gonna fall. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So, today is probably the first day that it's not been raining in ages and we are gonna shoot some pics for my Instagram and we just done some shopping um, and yeah, I'm just gonna explore Knightsbridge. Say hi properly, man. Hello. <laughs> so as you guys can see, my room is a complete mess. Um, I don't even know how it got into the state. Obviously I've thrown a lot of things onto the floor to organize back into my wardrobe which is why a lot of it's on the floor and a lot of it's on my bed as well um so i'm just gonna need to organize that and get my life together so So guys, I've managed to clean my room, the mess on the floor, my table, my closet, my bags are all organised in there. Um, here is me. It didn't take me until sunset to clean my room, it's just I had to put makeup on and put on this top because I've opened my own Depop store for my own clothing line, so if you guys want to check it out, it's Remy and NATO and this top is on there. It is £12, I believe. Um, it's listed on there and it's just this white ribbed top, which I really like. And yeah, uh, if you guys want to check out the other items, I'll have the Depop across the screen. But yeah, I just had to take pictures for that, so that took some time. Also, I love these earrings. They are from a recent Boohoo haul of mine. But guys, forget all of this fun stuff. I actually have something really big to show you guys. My degree came in through the mail. So I really want to show it to you guys and uh, I've already opened it as you can see. We see it's so weird because we're meant to get your degree at graduation ceremony but we just got ours posted. Um, so I thought I would just show it to you so you guys could see what it looks like. Class of 2020 booklet thing. Here is my degree certificate. So this is the certificate and it's so exciting. You guys will ask, is it MD? What is it? So in the UK we get a MBBS degree. So it's Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery. Um, so dual bachelor degree. Um, yeah, that's how every single medical school in the UK gives out degrees. It's just the letters that we have. Whereas I know that like my sister who studies in Latvia is going to get a medical doc doctorate, so MD. And I believe in America it's an MD as well. But I think it's because Sina has to write like a 10,000 word thesis. So, and we didn't have stuff like that. So yeah, I think that's probably why. But still, at the end of the day, you're still a doctor. In terms of me getting a job, uh, it hasn't had an effect because we're all, all of us graduates at MEBS. But I thought that was so fun. I thought I'd share it with you guys because I was so excited to get it. And also guys, can you put suggestions down below of um, a really nice like frame? So I don't know if you guys watched the Manchester vlog. So if you guys watched the Manchester vlog, then you would have seen that we went out for Christine's birthday and she got me this really cute frame to say thank you. And this picture of the two of us, which is by the way, a really cute picture. 
he's on her Instagram. Um, anyway, I want a frame and I really like this one. I don't know if I should ask Christina um, where she got this so I can get this another size or if you guys have any good suggestions for frames for my degree, let me know. Solmas doesn't have a frame on her degree either. I think it's literally sitting inside an envelope, but she has really nice frames for her graduation photos, which are downstairs. I'll show you guys actually. But yeah, if you guys like have any frame suggestions, I want to buy one for Sol and one for me and maybe while I'm at it, buy Sina's one as well so the three of us can have like nice pretty ones hopefully ones that like can sit up maybe we'll put it on top of the fireplace or even if it's like something that you have to put on the wall I'll show you where Sol's graduation pictures are we could mount it up on against the wall but obviously it's a huge achievement for all of us and we're really proud of ourselves and our parents are proud of us so we I want my degree to be up on a wall like I've worked hard for it so why not I don't think I need an excuse I just want it on a wall I want to see it every day and be proud of myself so this is Sol's uh, solo graduation pic, which is so cute, and she's like holding her degree, really pretty. And then this is our family graduation pic for Sol, which is one of my favourites. By the way, when I, when I bought this dress, Sina came with me to Selfridges, and she was like, oh my god, this dress is so hideous, you're going to look like a flower wall, like what are you wearing, what are you going to wear? Blah, blah and I was like no I promise you it's gonna look nice and uh, can I just say on the day when I actually wore it with heels makeup everything done up I looked way nicer than Sina first of all because she was wearing plain black but second of all I think me and my mum were like the Beyonce's of the family because my mum's also wearing this really cute red dress I'll show you guys look at my mum like how cute does she look like she's wearing this red house of CB dress and um, my dad again looks really cute um yeah so me and my mum were the showstoppers here, I think. Um, and this dress was from Topshop. And Sol and Sina wore black dresses. Um, Sol wore a black House of CB dress um, for her graduation and yellow Christian Louboutins, which were so iconic. But I remember Sol would always tell me, oh my god, you need to pick your graduation outfit. So I've still got another year because apparently my uni is going to host a graduation for us, hopefully. Um, so if they do, then guys, I also need suggestions for graduation outfits because I want something that's like classic and timeless. Um, but also doesn't look like I'm going to a wedding um, and doesn't look like I'm going clubbing because it's so hard to get one that's like in between. I'm having watermelon and mango. My mum is having Persian cucumber. <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys have watched her recipes on her channel, Misa Gedama. Mm -hmm. Buddy, it's really good. <laughs> She's still eating, but she wants to promote it to you, so I just promoted it for her. Yes, thank you very much. <laughs> I think I had steak for lunch, guys. I'm back on intermittent fasting, so I think I'm going to have chicken schnitzel for dinner. Yes, in our house, uh, everybody is look like they are in the restaurant. They order different food. It's not like that. They're having warm food. I make it. <laughs> for example, I have to ask, what do you want? She said, I want a steak, and for dinner, I want chicken steak. <laughs> And other one, she said, I want fish, and everybody... I'll have fish, but you're not having fish anymore, because Sina said she's going to have Nando's. Yes, that's why. No, just I'm uh, talking generally. Generally. Otherwise, she makes Zeresh Polo. So, we're going to watch our movie now, and then we're going to eat something. Yes. So, we'll see you guys in a sec. So, guys, for dinner, I am making some rigatoni, and then I am adding to it some arabiata sauce. And um, the second half of this creamy mushroom sauce that I had with my steak this afternoon. So half a pack has 146 cows, so it's not that bad. Some olives, some garlic paste, and some truffle pesto, again, from m &S. So I'm going to cook that up and put some chicken milanese in the oven for me and my mom so we're gonna have chicken milanese with pasta with creamy tomato pasta for dinner so i'll show you guys how it turns out
Okay guys, so it is now Monday and I have gone to work. I actually left my camera here in the kitchen last night so that when I get up to get my coffee, I can film for you guys. But basically, I just didn't have time in the morning to even make myself a coffee. I had to rush off to work so I forgot my camera. Here. So I forgot my camera here in the kitchen, but I'm back from work now and I washed my face and I just put on a little bit of light foundation, eyebrows and lip balm because I am going to the gym. It is 6.15. God has given me strength and these tight suction Boo Avenue, sorry, these tight suction Bowen T uh, pants to kick me back into shape because I honestly need to start hitting the gym regularly, you guys. I've not gone gym regularly or exercise regularly in a long time, which is so bad. Um, mainly because mental health wise, exercise is so good for me. Um, it just makes me feel better about myself. And also while I'm there, I feel good as well. So yeah, I really wanna get back into going to the gym. So let's go, no more time wasting. So guys, I'm back home now. I'm gonna go take a shower and then have dinner. I'm having salmon and rice for dinner. But I'm really annoyed because I've lost my AirPods. I honestly don't have luck with AirPods and my new gym because one time I dropped one of my AirPods down the Stairmaster and kind of broke the Stairmaster, but then the Stairmaster got repaired and it just has an AirPod stuck in it. It's really weird. So I don't really have much luck with them. Um, which is so annoying, but oh well. I guess it goes to show that I, if I'm gonna get wireless headphones, I need the ones that go over your head because clearly I'm not competent at taking care of a slight pair of tiny air, like headphones. Does anyone else have this problem with AirPods? Let me know. I've realized in this vlog there's a lot of let me knows, but I actually read all of your comments, so um, do let me know. Also, before I end this vlog, I have one cool story to tell you guys. So I was at work today and my consultant said to me, um, oh, one of my colleagues, another consultant, is gonna come down and just quickly say hi to us because it's the first time that I'm gonna see her since like the pandemic, um, cause they work in separate buildings. I was like, okay, cool. Um, so she comes down, um, the other consultant, and she says hi to my consultant and then she says hi to me and she goes, Oh my god, I recognize you, I watch your vlogs, your Persian bunny, and honestly, it made my whole day, and she was like, I love your vlogs, and I was like, so shy, I can't even tell you guys, I never get shy when people come up to me and say hi, or like, recognize me or whatever, but like, I was so shy, I was like, oh my god, a consultant, like, recognizes me, like, I was so, like, proud of myself that she was like, I watch your vlogs and like, I enjoy them. So if you're watching this, thank you so much. And um, yeah, it made me really, really happy. And it also uh, finally gave me the opportunity to tell my consultant that I'm a vlogger because I hadn't told her yet. I just didn't really know how to break it. Um, but yeah, so YouTube family, you guys are so special to me, all of you. And I just thought I'd share that like, really cool intimate story with you guys because I think it's just amazing like how many people you meet through the cyber world and I just love meeting all of you and I love you all so much. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. If you enjoyed it then please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe, it actually means a lot to me. Um, if you wanna check out my socials, they are always linked down below but my Instagram is Persian Bunny and my snap is Sepi Samai. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.